Miss Sheila Wildfire Nafee. How you guys doing tonight? Yeah, I came here and started drinking too much. I said, I'm not going up. <laughs> I'm Bach or Bracken. What the fuck's your Brandon. name? Brennan. Brandon. Brennan. Yeah, he was introduced at the Gypsy the other night by the guy that we miss so much, the Scottish Highlander. It was fucking awesome. That was great. Now, I've been up here every week doing the same fucking tired ass jokes. I'm going to try out some new ones and bomb tonight. It's a good night to bomb, I can tell. <laughs> That's not directed at anybody. I promise, I promise. Now Jane was talking about her Christian values and shit, and they suck. <laughs> yeah, really. So I'm going to talk about mine a little bit. It's not a very popular subject, but I am an atheist. Wow. I got a couple people here. No, no, it's atheists. It's like... We prescribe to science, but all the people that are religious prescribe to faith, and we think we're right. But what if we're not? Seriously, what if all the atheists die and they end up at the pearly gates? We'd be all like, we wouldn't be begging our way into heaven or forgiving our sins. We'd be asking that one question every atheist has been wanting to know all these many years. Dear God, why the fuck? Did you not let the unicorns on that boat? <laughs> and I know what heaven would look like, too. You know, tis a magical place. You know, all the animals talk, and there's fairy dust everywhere. And at the pearly gates, there's this guy with long, flowing gray hair saying, Welcome to Narnia. <laughs> I can love that shit. I'm going to try out some couple new jokes. I probably can't remember them because I got too drunk. I didn't get stoned like these guys over there, but, but I'm going to try to remember them. But anyway, you ever watch these commercials? You don't listen to anybody that's selling you anything unless they're a certain type of person. Like when you're buying kitchenware, the guy's got to be British. What the fuck? Or like if it's barbecue, the guy's got to be Texan. Or if you buy a car, it's got to be a whore. <laughs> Dad'll do it. Dad'll do it. Yeah, that's too obvious. He already did it. She she had a baby last week or something. <laughs> but anyway, the British get away with a lot of fucking shit. Let me tell you, they do. They fuck up the English language so bad. But what do we say? Oh, that's cute. Uh. You guys sound really smart. Well, you know what? Mexicans can't do that shit. <laughs> Seriously, it's like, I'd like two tacos, please. Speak fucking English, you stupid Mexican, or get out of our country. <laughs> that shit was funny. I like that. <laughs> I don't think I have any new ones. I'm still working on that joke. I'm sorry. Damon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like I said, I'm a criminal attorney. I do the normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill, okie-type crimes, like DUIs, making a meth lab, bestiality. Oh my God. I know. Is it still? You would know. Is it still bestiality? You would just lay there and the animal does all the work. <laughs> no, I, I know there's a lot of comics here tonight. I don't want to do. I don't want to do any of my regular shit, but I want to leave you with that. I appreciate you guys very much, Sheila Nafee. Woo! Another round for Sheila. And don't worry, hey, Damon, next time she needs her yard mode, fuck her. <laughs> <laughs>